Jones on the theme song every Saturday night. And you I, watch, you were busy working. Well, I cannot remember songs. I just you were cruising hey, around the world yourself. Cruising around the world myself, yeah. yeah. But the uh, the love boat love boat captain was a fairly um, uh, very successful senator from Tennessee for many years. On the TV show. Well, he was before a TV show. Then it became Gavin McLeod was the love boat captain. Okay, who's you're the guy? Th- you're thinking about uh, Fred Grandy, the yeoman purser. He was a uh, he was elected to Congress. Who's the senator from Tennessee? I don't know who the senator is. I don't is. either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I knew that. Yeah, I, I don't think I, you no, did. No, no, no. Better than that, I thought you knew the answer. <laughs> as you're making it up as you were going along. <laughs> Colleen McDaniel is editor-in-chief of Cruise Critic, the world's largest online cruise resource. Colleen, good morning to you. How are you today? I am great, thank you. I think that the love boat was also my first exposure to cruising. Yeah. So take, the, the song is taking me back. Every Saturday night, you cruised around the, wherever they were going that uh, the particular day, and they were, they would always dress in in their finest for dinner every night. Does does that happen on a cruise ship any longer, Colleen? Well, it does um, on some cruise ships. It really depends on who you're cruising, but uh, there it, you do dress for dinner um, on some cruise lines, and there still are what they call formal nights, so you can really pull out your fancy clothes and dress for dinner. Very nice. Is uh, We are into November, and I don't know if, if the winter time is a popular time to cruise uh, at all, but I know uh, it's probably a good time to start planning your 2024 summer cruise, right? Absolutely. It is both a wonderful time to cruise to escape uh, some of the cold, and um, but it's also a really great time to think about booking your cruising. As a matter of fact, Black Friday is just around the corner, and it's truly become one of the best times of year to book a cruise. So families who are looking to nail down their summer vacations for 2024 can really find some incredible deals right now. For example, Norwegian Cruise Line is offering 50% off all of its cruises. And it's pairing that deal with its free at sea offer, which includes up to six perks, including free unlimited open bar, free round trip airfare for a second guest, free specialty dining, and much more. And what we really like is that this sale applies to all of its itineraries and its ships, including its new award-winning Prima Class of ships. So tell me about these new ships now and what's available on them as compared to just maybe a generation ago. Uh, I love this because new ships are really in high demand now, especially with families, because they are loaded with activities that, that really meet all family needs. So um, we there are a number of new ships that debut every year. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line just debuted Norwegian Viva. Um, and on the horizon is Norwegian Aqua, which will be coming out in 2025 and people love these new ships because they really are so modern and it's a great way to travel you know you can do activities like go-kart racing laser tag or uh mini golf but if you just want to chill you can visit some of the spas which really rival anything that you could visit on land they're they're relaxing and they're loaded with you know, thermal spas and, and you know, uh, salt rooms and, and just areas for you to really chill and relax. Now, my, my co-host here is a retired admiral, so he knows a little bit about cruising on ships across the world here, Bill. Yeah, but not the, not the way that's been described <laughs> you, here. You didn't have that kind of luxury <laughs> no, on your, not at all. your Navy <laughs> ships. <didn't> <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, let's say, a more uh, more pedestrian or more uh, you, uh, you, less robust. Yeah. <laughs> less robust. I like <laughs> more, that. More, more. Hey, uh, what, uh, did, there's been a lot of uh, uh, building of cruise ships. Has there, is there any concern they industry? is overbuilt Uh, you know what it's a great question but the reality is there are more people cruising now than ever before the demand is really really high Um, and so we are continuing to see these new ships launch every year and they're filled Um, at the same time you know cruise lines do retire older ships um, and these tend to be smaller ships Um, for many people, they're, they're favorites because they're cruise ships they've returned to again and again. But uh, there is no slowing of activity when it comes to these new builds. Now, where did the older ships retire to? 
Um, they often retire to. Um, there, there's a couple of there's a couple of options. One, um, they might be purchased by a smaller line and then refurbished and brought in the line with uh, that brand, um, or they might be uh, sent to a beach in, say, India, for example, where they are dismantled um, uh, and and taken apart. Do they have the uh, now? Some of these ships were built in the uh, uh, the sixties and seventies. PVCs were still being used for the electrical at that time. Uh, do they have any any problem at all getting past EPA to sell these ships? No, I know. No, in, Bill, keep in mind she's a cruise critic. She's not here to discuss. Okay, yeah, but <laughs> that goes back to the question of how they used. I, uh, because some of the times it's hard to give to a uh, sell to a uh, third world country just to be dismantled. Yeah. I, I, I think. Uh, Sorry about that, Colleen. I'll <laughs> I'll stick to. <laughs> see, what, see what the problem with having retired admirals get involved in these conversations, Colleen. See what I happens? think it, I think it's an interesting question, but <laughs> you do. <laughs> but I want. <laughs> I'd rather know where the coolest places to cruise are than what they do with the pipes when they take them apart. This this is what the host is now put the stopper in the co-host's yes. mouth. Says, "Shut up, Co- Colleen. What's a better What's a better conversation? What's a What's a What's a fun place to cruise to, or what they do with old ships?" Yeah. yeah, they're they're updated. They're kept in line with the latest requirements um, worldwide. So even old ships are brought up to date along the way, which is why they're still a really great option for people. When it comes to destinations, um, we are seeing a lot of great destinations on the rise. Uh, one of the places that we love right now is Europe, and families can really enjoy Europe via cruise because it really does offer this immersive kind of experience. I mentioned NCL before. Um, this cruise line is offering some of these immersive itineraries where the ships stay in port longer so families can really spend the time together bonding and experiencing something new. Um, also, Alaska is hot, and this is one of the most picturesque destinations on the planet. It's also one of my favorite places to visit. Um, you can catch wildlife sightings, and they are tremendous. You can spend time in nature, and you can learn about new cultures and the people who live there. What's the best but time to— Let's not forget about Caribbean. Uh, this is always a great place because of its sunshine and its beaches. And, Colleen, what's the best time to take an Alaska cruise, best part of the year? Oh, it really depends. Um, the Alaska season generally runs from about April through uh, even November now. Um, but when you visit, uh, it really is it's a different place. So uh, if you want to see wildlife activity, a little bit earlier in the season is the best time to visit. If you want to see the changing seasons, maybe catch some bears on their way to hibernation, late fall is great. Summer might give you the best, most consistent weather, uh, although one thing about Alaska that is almost guaranteed is you can catch a little bit of rain on your vacation there. It does not put a damper on Alaska, um, but you will have a chance at really great weather in the summer. All right. How do we find out more about what you've discussed today, Colleen? (laughs) Uh, To hear from other cruisers just like you to read reviews and get pro tips visit cruisecritic.com. And to learn more about the deals I've talked about and some of the ships and activities that are available, visit ncl.com. Thank you, Colleen. Have a great day. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. That's a cruise uh, segment brought to you by Norwegian Cruise Lines. And uh, Colleen,